Hey, hi guys. Welcome back to Bakapaina, the Techie Automation Laboratory. So I'm creating a, a series of sessions on uh, Selenium 4 features. In the first session, I have discussed about how to work with the tabs and how to work with the new windows in Selenium 4. So this is a session two. So I'll be discussing uh, how to take the screenshot of element or a whole screenshot in the web page using Selenium 4. So in the previous session, that is a session one, we have discussed from the scratch how to create the main project, how to add the dependency, from where to get the dependency details. Then we started creating our test by creating the package and then class. Then we have created the at the red test. In the test, we have implemented our code. Then we have executed our code. Then finally, we have seen the results. So for the session two, so first I will discuss about the scenario. Then we will go to the Eclipse ID. Then we will start writing our code. Then finally, we will execute it and we will review the results. So let us move on to the web page here. So simply I will open the this particular. Let me close other tabs here, which are not required. So simply I will open this Chrome browser, then I will enter this particular URL then. So first I will try to capture the screenshot of this web page element. Then we will try to capture, capture the screenshot of whole page as well. So let us jump to the Eclipse ID. So this is a class we have created. So I have discussed how to deal with the tabs and uh, windows as well. So let us quickly create another class as well. So simply I will create one class. So here I'm specifying the class name as uh, Selenium for screenshot. So that's it. I will click on finish button. So here I'll create a simple test in the test public wide test one then you import the related packages from the from the test ng so that's it for opening our chrome browser then maximizing our browser so we just, just i'll go to the previous class what we have discussed simply i will copy these three lines of code Sorry, four lines of code from the previous class. So here I'll just replace this particular URL with the our new URL that is YouTube page. So that's it. Simply I'll select all then I'll format it properly. So that's it. So in the first three lines, we will be creating our we will be opening our Chrome browser, then we will be maximizing it by using the third line. In the fourth line, we are just entering this URL in the Chrome browser. So after entering this URL, so we will be navigating to in this page. So we have to inspect this particular web page element now. So let me just right click on that, say inspect. So if I over my mouse on the dome right so simply it is highlighting this particular element so let me go up so what i will do is simply i will copy this particular id so here i'm just writing a single x path so that will identify this particular web element so instead of that so let me go up still yes so if i hover my mouse over the dom right so in this div tag so it is simply highlighting the this entire web element so we will write a next path to identify the this whole whole web element then we will take the screenshot of this 
that is the one pick that is a channel channel profile then the channel name then the this subscribe button will come under this particular div tag so let us copy this particular id here then i will press ctrl f then i will write a simple xpath by using two forward slash star in the square brackets i'll specify at the rate attribute id equal to in the single quote i'll specify the value of that so if you look at this so it is simply highlighting the sorry guys so simply it is highlighting the web page element so let us see how to capture this particular screenshot so simply you can copy this so here i'm using a driver object dot find element by xpath so we have written xpath simply you can specify the xpath here then that's it you store the, that into the web element type so here i'll be saying um, channel head that so that's it so you can import the related packages as well so i'll take the channel header web element then simply i'll call to the one method called get screenshot so this particular method takes the output type dot followed by the like if you want image or file like that so simply i'll call to that method so here i'm specifying output type dot so here it is just asking you what type of file you are expecting so in my case i'm expecting your file type so i'll store into the file type so whenever you specify the file here so you have to store this particular results into the file type only so here i'm i'll create the file reference variable and i'll store into the file reference variable so you can import the java.io so after taking the screenshot right we have to store it in the in your system or in your framework so that reason so simply i'll create a one folder under this project same project so here i'm just entering folder so here folder name i'm specifying screen shots so that's it click on finish button so simply you can right click on that go to the properties simply you can copy this particular name so that's it so again i'm maximizing the class by using this file so now the our screenshot is stored in this file so we have to copy it for copying it what i'm using is file util dot sorry guys file utils dot copy file so in, you can specify copy file so if you look at this particular method so it is x accepting two arguments one is source and the destination so now source we are having file reference variable the destination we have to create the object of new file of file class then we have to specify the location just now we have created one screenshot folder so that we have to specify it here select that particular method source will be file so here simply you can specify file so here you need to create the object of new file class so under that you can specify the what is the name of the screenshot and where exactly you want it to store that particular screenshot so here i'm just specifying dot because my folder this particular folder is created in the same project that is a screenshots so that's the reason i'm specifying dot then forward slash then simply i'm pasting the just writing the screenshot folder followed by so now you can specify the 
screenshot name and the format. So here I'm specifying channel header dot png. So that's it. So that should be in double quotes. So that's it guys. So you can simply you can say surround with the try and catch block. Control D. Then after taking the screenshot, first we are capturing the screenshot by using the web element that is a we have identified one web element that is the channel name and having the profile of the that particular YouTube channel. Then we are covering this particular button as well in that particular web element. So it has to take this particular screenshot, whole screenshot, and it has to store in the this particular folder. So that's it, guys. So I'll use the driver object, then I'll call to the quit method. So before going to the quit method, simply I will specify the thread dot sleep. for two seconds that is 2000 milliseconds is equal to two seconds so you can simply say add throws declaration so that's it so let us quickly execute this test then we will see the results whether we are able to capture the screenshot of that particular web page element or not so it has opened the web browser, then it has to maximize it first. It is maximizing the web browser, then it has entered the URL. Then it has to capture that particular screenshot, then it has to close the browser. So that's it. If you look at the total test run is one and there are one pass, there are zero failures. So let us refresh our project once. So currently we don't have any screenshots under the screenshots folder. So we can refresh it. So if you see this particular folder that is screenshot, already we are having one dot PNG format of image. If you double click on that, so it has captured the web element screenshot. So this is the one part we have seen how to capture screenshot of web element. So let us move on to the next topic, how to capture the screenshot of whole page. So let us try to write an XPath which is matching with the whole web, web page. So if I go up, so it is something covering like whole page. So simply I'll take the idea of ID of this content. So let us identify this web element by using the ID. So value is a content. So simply I'll replace <clears throat> that particular value with the content. So we have written XPath by using the. So there are it is matching with the four elements. The very first element is it is the very first element is matching with the whole page. So simply you can copy this XPath. So still you can write a unique XPath for identifying the web page element, which is covering whole web page. Then you can capture the screenshot. So, so our first element is matching with the whole web page. So simply I'll copy this particular XPath. Simply I'll go to the this particular class what we have created now. So I'll just replace with the folder XPath. So this is our new XPath we have added. So it will covers the maximum web page web page element. So let us execute this test, and it has to ca capture most of the screen now. So let us wait for few seconds, and we will check out the results whether it is capturing the results or not, sorry, whether it is capturing the screenshot or not. 
So basically by using the web element, we can capture the screenshot of, of it. So that's it guys. So you can simply refresh this particular project. Then if you open this, so if you look at this, so it has captured the whatever the element we have identified and we have specified over there. So it is able to capture the whole page of the screenshot. So that's all guys. So in this session, so I have discussed in the like how to take screenshot of element or a whole screen in web page using Selenium 4. So if you like this tutorial, please click on like button and share with your friends and colleagues. If you have any questions, you can comment in the comment section. So this entire whole code will be available in the below video description. So you can simply copy the whole code and you can just try it at your end and let me know if you face any difficulties. So stay tuned for next tutorial on how to find size and location of web element using selenium 4 thank you thank you very much for watching this tutorial